This is the last of three years that I've spent as the artistic director for the Cabaret Festival. And it has been, on so many levels, one of the highlights of my career. The theme for this year is not your usual suspects, which is a play on words, of course, because we know that the usual suspects tend to be the people that we see time and time again. But it is true of cabaret acts that we do actually see them time and time again, but they're completely transformed, completely and totally transformed. First night, of course, we had the variety gala performance, and that's something that's uh, kind of become sort of famous, actually, because it's like a tapas. They get to have a sort of short view of all of the artists that we're featuring in the first opening week of festival. And for audiences who've never been to Cabaret, they get to come maybe get one ticketed show, but invariably buy four and five based on the gala. And then the next big show that we've got is Swing On This, four very, very talented, very handsome young men and Australian stars. Mike Falzon, one of the friends of the Cabaret Festival and has been many, many times to the festival. Luke Kennedy, maybe known from The Voice. Matt Lee, loved and known for his work in Poppin. Ben Mingay, the star of the uh, TV drama at the moment, Wonderland. Robert Darby sings Sinatra and he'll be performing On the Road to Romance. Next show up is Perfect Tripod and they'll be performing songs from Silverchair to all sorts of classics as well, you know, old and new, in a way that they could only ever get away with. One of the greatest stars that we have this year, and I feel very, very lucky that we have him, is Anthony Warlow. He's performing with Faith Prince. Their repartee is going to be totally casual, completely intimate and completely amazing. Now the next concert that we've got is Vandemonian Lags. It is a project which is really super deep. It was created for Dark Mofo, which is down in Tassie. But I thought this would fit with the colonial construct we've got for colonial cabaret, music, telling stories, with artists like Tim Rogers, Mick Thompson. You've got these really great gritty Australian artists performing original works that they've written about what it was like to have travelled here from England on those first few fleets. Kathy Jimmy is famed for having been in Sister Act or Veronica's Closet. She's so super talented. The fact of her having this show, she's going to work it out here on our audiences and then take it back to Broadway. She is so well loved. I, I think we'll take her on as our own. Travelling with Kathy and Jimmy is another fantastic treat and that is her husband, Dan. And he's part of the Dan Band and they're awesome. Um, you may recognise them from the film The Hangover, they were in the wedding band. Next up, the really popular and very lauded King's Singers. They're going to be performing the American Songbook. And they are just a wonderful lineup of some of the greatest singers from London. They're travelling here, we've been here before but I don't think we've ever heard them performing like this. Darlene Love was a backing singer for uh, all of the great rock and roll artists, every single person you can imagine. I feel blessed that we have Darlene Love and I know that the audiences here are going to just go over the top for her because she's only coming to Adelaide. This is the only show that she'll be doing and she's ours. Paul Capsis is one of the recidivists. We've called them the return offenders. Um, they come back and each and every year they transform themselves with new shows in this case, we've got a relationship with the State Theatre Company and the Adelaide Festival Centre. They've put together a show for Paul with writers like Cameron Goodall and Quincy Grant. It's called Little Bird. It's a fragile piece and I'm sure it's going to be absolutely stunning. With a lot of the free events that happen, you will, you will see a lot of the artists like myself and the other ones coming off their shows performing randomly, but this is a show that I wanted to commit to. It's with the Ra Project and they're a Melbourne group. They do hip hop, electronica, classical music. They'll have a 24 piece art orchestra here from Adelaide. And performing with them is Kylie Aldrist from the Bamboos and Iota, who here at the Adelaide Festival took, I think, the younger generation of cabaret into a whole new realm. He's the new guard and this is the new score. David Bromley himself is going to be doing a gallery for us as well, featuring not only his own work, but some of the local new and upcoming artists as well. So what we have is, again, this environment. It's winter, it's warm. You don't have to go anywhere else to get your entertainment. You could sit down and just spend a couple of hours and who knows what could happen. It's the Cabaret Festival. Yeah.